I'm Cameron from Prestat in North Wales and you're watching Fun for Louis. Good morning guys. It's half past five again. Two days in a row, getting up very early. But this morning it's actually um it's actually a bit drizzly and uh and cold. I'm hoping it's it's alright to go scuba diving. I guess once you're under the water it's the same. But it doesn't really feel like uh, scuba diving weather. Yeah. Morning guys. Bright and early. Everyone excited for diving? Yeah. Oh, I should probably take one of these. These are the seasickness tablets. Today, Michelle. I, am, I think it's going to be a bit colder than yesterday. Yeah, it does look chilly. I don't know if the sea changes temperature that much, I'm not sure. Alright, I've got all my kit sorted. It's all ready. I just need to load it on the crate now. You got your kit sorted, Ben? Nice. Oh, it's just helping me. Mine was leaking oxygen, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good, bro. Right, we're going on the stuff now. We're heading down to the boat. Let's do it. You guys excited? Yeah. Oh I ran out of air in the last couple of minutes before we surfaced. We did, we did an hour underwater and then right at the end a, sh a shark swam past. So I went after it but I was so low on air and then I completely ran out which is really naughty. But really, it was really fun. naughty. And it's quite chilly. Nick was uh, freezing cold because his wetsuit's a little bit loose. So. You go scuba diving, guys. 
make sure you get a wetsuit that fits you because I'm actually all right. Definitely a bit colder now I'm out of the water, but that's a good, that's a good dive. Gonna warm up with some coffee. How you feeling, Nick? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not hundreds, but not hundreds. Yeah, but not sick. Not shark diving. Sick. Is that a South African thing? Hundreds. Yeah, hundred percent. Maybe. Cheers. <laughs> so Nick and Michelle have gone back to the lodge. Nick wasn't feeling too well, so they're going to skip the second dive. And I think Ben and Dan are coming back down at 10:30. So I'm going to head out on this dive of my own with another group and uh, apparently there's some dolphins out there somewhere. I'm really hoping we see dolphins. So I'm back at the lodge. Guys, that was an awesome dive. Saw a lionfish, which I haven't seen before. Got some more selfies with clownfish. Just so much, so much wildlife. So many little things down there. A couple of like moray eels, I think they're called. Um, I'm a little bit chilly now. And bad news is, as I was getting back on the boat, I accidentally kicked one of my fins off. And by the time I put my mask on and looked down, it had already sunk and gone so I couldn't go and get it um, but still epic epic dive well that's the last dive I'll be doing before we leave this place um, so I'm gonna properly dry my hair but there's no hair dryers anywhere and I've been wrapping it in towels and trying to squeeze it but like I've said before my dreads take so long to dry thankfully I found this hand dryer so I'm gonna stand here for like an hour drying my hair Well, I dried my hair, I've had some lunch, I've been having laptop club, and now me and Ben are gonna have a little nap because it's been a tiring day of diving. Together? Yeah, we're gonna have a nap together, aren't we? Yeah, okay, it's shotgun being Okay, how was your diving earlier? First time under the ocean? Yeah, second time in the ocean. Yeah, I did two dives and it's unbelievable. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. See any cool, do you see any cool creatures? Yeah, we saw a little Mori eel, saw one of those kind of ray things burying himself in the sand. Dan had a bit of a panic attack and was rescued by Laura, our instructor, which he kind of enjoyed, I think. <laughs> no, it was really cool. I can't wait to die tomorrow again, but yeah. now I'm falling asleep. I've got to go to bed. Sick, man. Let's go and have a little siesta. Well, I had a little nap, and now I'm coming back for a second lunch. I've got a little chicken schnitzel thing. And I'm hanging out with the girls and Nick, and we're going to play a Monopoly game. Because like what better to do on a rainy day than play card games? Exactly. 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 Right, let's give this a go. Has anyone has anyone played this? It's called Monopoly Deal. I'm just learning the rules. And just an expert. Hello. 
I'm pretending that my hand is a snake. <laughs> snake? <laughs> Cut the Dinner time again. <laughs> and we are heading to this other place. I just want to provide context to that last thing. Um, I was grabbing Michelle in the air and pretending that my hand was a snake. So I'm not in crack. Carry on. <laughs> Right, these boys are joining us too. I don't know where we're just gonna sit. Oh, here we go. This is our table. Thank you. Oh, thanks. We've moved inside. It's a little bit chilly outside. Uh, we've just all got our food. All right. We're saying our goodbyes to these guys now because they're gonna stay an extra day diving and we're head heading off early in the morning. Bye. See you in Cape Town. Bye. Bye. I'm back from dinner and uh, I'm trying to decide now whether to edit my vlog for you guys or whether to sleep and edit it on the car journey in the morning to Johannesburg. I think I should edit tomorrow just because I only got three and a half hours sleep last night because we got up so early for the scuba dive and I'm pretty shattered. Um, and I'm sad that we're going tomorrow. We've had such an incredible time here. I should have really, in hindsight, used these dives and this experience here to basically get the next qualification. So I'm a lot of people have been asking in the comments, am I qualified? And also asking how can they get qualified? But I'm an open water diver. I got it like 10 years ago and um, I should have done the advanced open water because you can go deeper and check out more stuff. And um, If you guys are looking for something to do in your gap year, you want to come here and get like a scuba qualification and then you can use that to then travel and earn money in different like scuba diving places. Um, and me and Ben were chatting earlier we were saying if we weren't doing YouTube, that's the kind of thing we'd probably do. Like I'd be very tempted. One of my friends is doing it at the moment in Thailand. Um, but if you are interested and would like to come and check this place out, one of the best dive locations in the world, um, I've linked below um, this particular coral divers that we're, um, we've been doing stuff with. If you're interested, um, go and check out the link and maybe you can and become qualified and have an awesome time out here. Right, um, I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Uh, it's going to be another long driving day. Um, uh, it should be quite fun. We've got the girls to to keep us company. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. <laughs> right, I will see you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>